I live in the 2D civilization, where everything is just a line and I live on the two-dimensional plane. I can only go two directions, forward or backwards. I was born here and I have no idea why I'm in this world. Every day all I do is collect blocks because the realm leader comes and collects them at the end of every day. And hopefully one day once I collect enough blocks, I move on to the next world. I've been collecting blocks for hours and I think the realm leader is coming soon. You know the drill. Give me all of your blocks and items. You better have more than yesterday. Okay, here you go. Am I getting close to leveling up to the next civilization? You aren't even close to collecting enough blocks to get out of here. Ha ha. Be ready tomorrow if you don't have double the amount of blocks there will be consequences. And that's how it goes every day. They want more and more blocks every single time they come. I better get back to it. I'm getting really tired of this life and I will do anything to get out of here, even if it means escaping. I was roaming around breaking blocks as I usually do when I fell in this hole. Hello? Who are you? My name's Grace. I've been hiding here for years trying to escape this place. The reason we are in the 2D civilization is because the world is overpopulated. Putting people in two-dimensional lines takes up less space. The higher-ups are evil and get to live in the real world while we are stuck here. Follow me. There is something you should see. I have nothing better to do besides collect blocks, so I might as well follow this weird girl to see what she has to show me. What is this place? We've been running for hours. This is the edge. The 2D civilizations are man-made. That's why we have to collect blocks all day so the higher-ups can build more 2D civilizations. This is absolutely insane. Do you have a plan to escape this place? Yes, go to these coordinates, grab the weapon, and when they come to collect blocks, you need to attack. I am too weak to fight them, so you will have to. I really hope this girl's not lying to me. These are the coordinates she told me, but I didn't see anything, so I decided to dig down. She wasn't lying. There was a chest with a diamond sword in it. When the higher-ups come to collect blocks, they break through the border somehow. So when they come tomorrow and they break the blocks, that's going to be my chance to strike. I've never fought anyone before, so I'm pretty nervous. But I will literally do anything to escape this place, especially after what that girl told me. Here they come. This is my only chance. If I mess this up, I don't even want to know what the punishment will be. I need to remember where he breaks the hole in the wall because it's invisible and I might lose it. You know the drill, Brokey. Give me all of your blocks and you better have more this time. I only have one dirt block. I didn't have time today. But sure, you can have it. Hopefully it helps you guys build more 2D civilizations. Only one dirt block? I'm gonna have to punish you. That was way easier than I thought. He only took one hit to kill him. Now I need to find the hole and mine dirt blocks to get up to it. I don't really know what to do from here. Once I get up to the hole, I'm pretty much lost and I can't find that girl anywhere. She didn't really give me much instruction to do besides attack the guy. I ended up finding the hole and stacking my dirt blocks up to it. I've never been outside of these walls before in my entire life, so I'm really nervous. I really don't know what to do, but I think I'm going to have to jump. I don't have time to keep mining blocks to stack over to the edge, because people are going to be on the way soon. So, I'm just going to go for it and jump off the edge. Hopefully I live. What the heck is this place, and who are you? Welcome. You must have leveled up from the 2D civilization. Let's get you over to the 3D civilization right away. Yep, I definitely mined enough blocks to level up. I don't know who this guy is, but it seems like he doesn't know that I just escaped. And why were there so many other portals to different civilizations? This is so weird, I've never been able to walk around before. Welcome Pipsqueak. This is the 3D civilization. Every day I will collect blocks from you and your border will expand. Once your border gets to a thousand blocks, you will level up. Here we go, the same thing every day again, collecting blocks. Maybe they'll be nicer than they were in the 2D civilization. I hope your first day went good. It looks like you mined a lot of blocks. Give them to me and your border will be expanded by 20 blocks. Only 20 blocks? I've been mining for hours. Getting to a thousand blocks is going to take literal years. Yep, it sure will. Be ready tomorrow and have more blocks, please. The more blocks you give me, the more the border will expand. The next day I was just mining blocks like usual and I noticed this girl walking past. It looked like a guard and she was on the outside of the border. Hey stop, I have a question. What can I help you with? You gotta help me get out of here. I'll do anything. I have a diamond sword I can give you. I'm not even supposed to be talking to you. I could get in trouble. All I can say is find an enderman. No one's ever escaped this place before. As soon as you get past these walls, you only have a few minutes before you start taking damage. That actually makes sense. I saw the last guard use an ender pearl to get past the wall. It's been multiple nights and an enderman finally spawned. I have to be extremely careful because I have no armor. It's also going to take forever to kill the enderman because I also have no weapons. But after a few hours, I finally killed him and he ended up dropping an ender pearl. Now I just need to wait till daytime. 
I need to make sure that nobody's looking and that the guard isn't coming to collect blocks anytime soon. The guard just came and went and collected all my blocks, so now is the perfect opportunity. I've only seen the guard do this once, and I only have one ender pearl. It actually worked. That girl said I only have a few minutes, so I need to figure out what to do before I start taking damage. I should have planned better for this, and I have no idea what to do. I just escaped the borders of the 3D civilization, and I've been running for hours. I don't know how long I have left until I start taking damage. I finally came across something in the forest, and it says this portal goes to the fourth dimension. I have nothing to lose, and I'm going to start taking damage soon, so I decided to go through. What is this place? Why is it all white, and who is this guy out here? I was super nervous, and I was definitely not supposed to be here. I guess I gotta go talk to this guy. Hello? Where am I? I am the 4D Dimension Master. You are in the 4th Dimension. This is where the higher-ups send people to be banished. Well, can you help me get out of here? I want to take down the higher-ups. Ah, you must be the chosen one. Take this helmet. It will protect you from taking damage outside of the border. Travel north to the edge of the world. What does he mean I'm the chosen one? I've got nothing to lose, so I'm going to listen to this guy and hope this helmet actually protects me. I don't know how far north I have to travel, but I guess I'm going to just keep running in this direction until I reach the edge of the earth. He didn't even tell me what to do when I get there, but I'm just going to keep heading this way and hopefully I know what to do when I get there. I've been traveling for weeks and I stumbled across this girl named Ava. Hello? What are you doing out here? And how are you not taking damage? Who's Ava? And what do you mean all the way out here? You're really weird. Take this helmet. Something seems wrong with you. This girl was acting really strange, so I decided to give her the helmet. Oh my god, thank you so much. If you're outside the borders for too long, you lose your memory. There's tons of people just like me roaming around like zombies. You need to come with me. This guy told me that there's an edge of the earth, and that if we get there, we can overthrow the higher-ups. We can take turns wearing the helmet so that we don't lose our memory. We can't be much farther. I've been running for days. Look, I think I see something. Is this what this guy was talking about? Is this the edge of the earth? We only have one helmet, and I think you need to jump. Only one of us can go, and the 4D master said you were the chosen one. Are you nuts? I'm not going to jump off this cliff without even knowing where it goes. Oh my god, she just punched me off the edge of this cliff. What the heck is this place, and why does it look so realistic? Everything's so vibrant and it looks so nice here. I need to find someone to figure out what the heck's going on. Hopefully someone's in this house. Hello? Where am I? Hello, you must be a new arrival. Welcome to the realistic civilization. What do you mean realistic civilization? No time to talk. You need to get to your house and be ready for taxes in the morning. What does he mean my house? And what does he mean by taxes? I guess I need to go find somewhere to live. I'm just going to go over to this house over here and hopefully no one's living in it. This guy kind of looks like me, but I'm going to go ahead and take care of him. And I need to get ready for whatever taxes are. It's the next morning, and this weird officer guy is coming to my house. Hopefully he doesn't notice I stole this house. How's it going, John? You know the drill give me all of the magic apples you collected. Okay, yeah, let me just grab my magic apples real quick. Thank God there's some in this chest. I have no idea what these are. Here you go. Here's all my magic apples. Hmm, you seem off. Just don't be late tomorrow morning and go collect some more. That was way too close, and he's definitely suspicious of me. Hurry up. This is what we have to do all day to collect magic apples. We need to break these leaves in the magic forest, and sometimes they drop their apples. So we just break leaves all day long? That makes no sense. Stop complaining. Once we collect enough apples, we can move on to the hyper-realistic civilization. Okay, fine. I guess I'll keep collecting apples. I hate this constant cycle of having to collect items to level up to the next civilization. I need to find a way out of here. Okay, our shift's over. Now that you have a few apples, follow me so we can turn them into magic apples. Something seems odd about this. Usually in these civilizations, you have to collect blocks. I need to figure out why it's magic apples instead of the normal blocks. And then maybe I can figure out how to escape this civilization. This is the wishing well. You need to drop your apples into the water, and after a few seconds, pick them up and they will be magic. I can't believe that this wishing well actually ended up making these apples magic apples. There you go. That's the daily routine. Collect apples and turn them into magic ones. Then give them to the officers the next day. I don't know how people can live like this and be perfectly fine with it. I need to figure out a way out of here ASAP. I'm going to put my apples away and start going to talk to other people. There's barely anyone here for some reason, but I ended up finding this one girl inside of this house. Hey, I have a question. Do you know what's up with these magic apples? 
No one knows exactly what they do, but there are rumors. One time, a girl followed one of the officer after paying taxes, and she never returned. Okay, well, what are the rumors? What do the apples do? People have said that the higher-ups use them to gain powers to build all of the dimension civilizations. Okay, thanks for the info. I have a genius plan for when the tax officer comes. It's the next day and the tax officer's coming. My plan is to act like everything's normal. What's up, weirdo? You know the drill. Give me all of your magic apples now. Okay, here you go. Hmm, something isn't right about you, mister. This guy's so weird, but my plan is to secretly follow behind him while he does the taxes. I've been following him for thousands of blocks, and he finally got to this weird-looking portal in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna watch from a distance so that he doesn't see me, but I'm gonna see exactly what he does. He went up to this weird-looking doorway thing, and then he dropped one of his magic apples in it. He kept looking around all weird, so I thought he might have saw me. But after a few seconds, he just completely vanished. Where did he go? I need to follow him right now. When I got up to this weird-looking doorway, nothing happened when I ran through it. I kept running back and forth, and he was nowhere to be found, and it wouldn't take me anywhere. I think I know what I need to do. I need to go back to the base and get one of the magic apples and drop it in it like he did. I need to find an apple quick so I can get through that portal. I'm not supposed to be out in the forest when nobody else is, so I need to do this quick. If a guard catches me, who knows what will happen. Once I get the apple, I need to take it to the magic wishing well and take it to that portal. Hopefully it's still there. Finally, I got an apple. I need to get to that wishing well ASAP. It's just on top of that hill, but it looks like there's guards protecting it. I need to wait until they move. You're only supposed to go to the wishing well at certain times of day when the guards are watching you. But I don't have time for that. I need to get to the portal quick. It looks like they're running away. This is my one opportunity. I need to drop the apples inside of it, and then they'll turn into magic apples. It shouldn't take too long, so hopefully the officers don't turn around and see me. Oh no, they saw me. I need to get these apples and run to that magic portal right now. Hopefully I remember where it is. It wasn't too far away. Stop running. You're breaking the law. You're under arrest. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to stop. I'm way too deep into this, and I need to get to that portal. I've been running for a while now, and I finally see the portal, but they're super close to me, so I need to drop the apple super quick, and hopefully it works. Hopefully they can't chase me through. Whoa, what is this place? Why is it all purple and black, and what is this weird little stand? It looks like there's two people here. I'm going to run up to them, and hopefully they're friendly. It looks like they're two wizards. Hello? Where am I? Hello? Who are you guys? For some reason they're not responding, but I decided to open the chest and I took this weird thing called the unlock orb. I don't know if they're sleeping or what, but I'm just going to take it and hopefully they don't get angry. This place is super weird and it's creeping me out and I kind of want to get out of here. Hopefully this portal still works. Luckily I kept an apple on me from earlier and I'm hoping that it works the same way. And hopefully those officers aren't waiting for me on the other side. Um, this is definitely not where I went through the portal. There was no portal behind me anymore, and I'm in the middle of a frozen wasteland. It looks like there's a guy over here by a campfire. I need to go talk to him and figure out where I am. This guy had the same name as one of those wizards in that weird area. Hello. I am the Grand Wizard. I was banished here 1,000 years ago. You are in purgatory. And there's only one way to get out of here. You need to take this orb and keep running north. You will know what to do. You are the chosen one. I don't know why everyone keeps saying I'm the chosen one, but I have no choice, so I'm going to listen to this wizard guy that was supposedly banished a thousand years ago. So I guess I'm just going to keep running north until I figure out what to do. I've been running for weeks, and I'm starting to lose hope, and I thought this polar bear was coming to attack me. I'm definitely about to die. Hello, my name is Polly the Polar Bear. I've been waiting for you for days. Follow me, I will take you to where you need to go. I've never seen a talking animal before, but I have no choice, so I'm going to follow this polar bear. And I think her name was Polly. We've been running for days and I'm starting to lose hope and I think I'm hallucinating. I don't even think this polar bear is real at this point. Yay, we finally made it. These are where the masters hide all of the 2D civilization slaves. It is up to you now. Take that orb and throw it into the void and you will free all of the civilizations. Goodbye. Okay, thanks for the help. But where are you going? Okay, that was a little weird. I'm starting to think that polar bear wasn't even real, but I have no other choice, so I'm going to throw the orb into the void like she said. As soon as I did it, everything started shaking, and then all of a sudden, they all vanished and it turned into the regular world. I don't know why they all disappeared, but I hope this means that I freed all of the civilizations. I won't know for sure until I find some people, but I'm still stranded in the middle of nowhere, so I need to figure out where to go. I'm just going to pick a direction and keep running until I find something, and hopefully I find Polly.
Finally, a village. I need to talk to someone right now and figure out if I freed the civilization world. Hello? Did I free the civilization world? Hmm. It's you, the chosen one. You freed everyone from being stuck in the civilization world. To show my gratitude, take all of my emeralds. Well, I guess that means I did it. Now I can go back to living my normal life and so can everyone else.